Hi everyone, today I'm going to be attempting to make some little caramel candy things. So let's get to it. I got some silicone molds here. I washed them out and they're completely dry. You want to make sure they're completely dry before you um, start putting chocolate in it. In them because water with chocolate does not go well. So I'm going to try to put some chocolate, just cover the inside with, of the mold with chocolate. Just get a little chocolate on the little brush. Don't want it too thin, but you also don't want it super thick. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit for a second, get, let it get a little harder before I add the caramel. I melted down some chocolate chips. You can melt down anything. Just when you're melting the chocolate, make sure not to put it in for too long at once because it will scorch and get yucky and it can seize up on you and. Basically, don't get water in the chocolate. And don't put the chocolate in the microwave too long. Unless you're not microwaving it. But I'm just putting a little bit of chocolate in the molds and getting it all covered. So later in a second, I can get the caramel in. Okay, so I got a row of these done in every mold. So I just got a little bit of caramel. It's nothing fancy. I had some and I thought it, it, this would be fun to make some little caramels with it. You don't want to fill it all the way to the top because then you won't be then it won't seal up. But you want to you don't want to not have much in it, but you want to have enough to where it's, you, you don't want to have too much, you don't want to have too much and you don't want to have not enough. It's the whole point is to have caramel in them and if there's not much, it's just boring. So I'm just starting filling them up some and I'm gonna fill all of them up. And then if, depending on how much I have left, I'll do more or whatever. It's if I, I only did a little bit now because I can reheat, because it's, you waste it more if you Put in the mold and then you realize you don't have enough caramel to put in it. Unless you have something else you're making in molds too. For these ones I'm gonna need a lot more. Okay, so I got caramel in all the molds. Now I'm gonna put it in the freezer for about an hour or so. And I'm gonna put some chocolate over the tops. And then we'll see how they turn out. See you later. Okay, I'm back with all of this. It's been in the freezer for a while now. I'll put a little dollop of chocolate on 
I'm going to use this and spread it out. I don't remember what it's called. Is it offset spatula or something like that? I'm adding a good amount of chocolate to the top because you can't go wrong with chocolate. There is a thing that's too much chocolate, but that's pretty hard to get to. It's not like the one pound candy bar of chocolate I got for doing something. It's like a lifetime supply of chocolate. A pound of candy bar, a one pound milk chocolate candy bar of chocolate. That's a lot of chocolate. It took me a long time to eat all of it. Sat in the fridge for most of the time. This isn't very easy to do because the caramel starting to get melty. Okay, so I got two out, and I got all of them covered, but I didn't get all, I haven't got all of them out yet. But this one I got out, and this one I got out. Uh-oh. It melted. I was worried about that, but. Why don't you try it and see how it is? Okay. Mmm. That tasted really good. It would be good if you like cracked one open on a brownie. If you took one of these like medium sized one and just put it on a brownie and like cracked it open, that would be really good. Extra chocolate and some caramel. Well if you want to try to make these, if you have some chocolate some caramel around and some chocolate around and some silicone molds or any mold that that um you could do it. But it'd probably be better to get something, some type of caramel that's not super runny. Like if you refrigerate it, um, it gets pretty hard. That's what type of caramel you'd ideally get. But if you don't have that, you could always try it like we did. Like I did. It turned out okay. I'm gonna put. I'm probably gonna put the rest in the fridge so they don't melt. But yeah. See you next time. Bye. Put it back in the cold silicone mold.